One of my all-time favorite things to do is laugh. I feel it's something I'm good at, and it comes really easy to me. And there are many reasons why people use humor. Today, we're going to talk about how humor and being positive is a constructive way of dealing with trauma and tragedy. But before we jump in, I want to please remind you to please subscribe and share. And if you'd like to join our community, you can do that on our private Facebook group called Victoriously Living. And if you'd like to see more from One Leg Up Productions, you can support us financially at patreon.com forward slash One Leg Up Productions. Hi, welcome to Chair Chats, the lifestyle talk show with a disability twist. I'm your host, Pauline Victoria. On today's episode, we're going to be chatting with Perrin, aka the positive wheelchair guy on Facebook, who created a page to use humor to deal with difficult situations. Perrin, I want to thank you so much for joining our show, Chair Chats, and um, telling us a little bit about why you started the positive wheelchair guy. And I feel like, um, and we did this when I, I, I approached you, I feel like Wizard of Oz pulling back the curtain of like, who is this guy? Because when I yeah. expressed interest in wanting to interview you, um, we exchanged some messages and then I was like, oh wait, what's your name? Because <laughs> 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 I didn't know. So... Perrin is the guy behind the Positive Wheelchair Guy, which is a Facebook page um, that has, I think, over a thousand people already on it, right? I think last time I checked, I have about 1,600 followers. Yeah, that's amazing. And um, I just want to give our audience uh, an opportunity to get to know you a little bit better and why you started this Facebook page called the positive wheelchair guy i guess a little background i was injured in a rollover car accident um december 21st 2017 and i'm a t8 complete paraplegic which means i have no motor function or feeling below uh let's say basically about an inch and a half above my belly button below that nothing um and i I've always sort of used humor to kind of cope with things and, you know, the darker moments in life. And it's always helped me get through. And uh, I did my rehab at Craig Hospital, which is an amazing place. But um, it was something there I noticed that a lot of people weren't smiling and laughing. And um, so I went kind of went on the Internet route to find humor and. Um, I noticed there really wasn't a whole lot of, I guess, widely accepted wheelchair humor. I mean, of course, there's people that crack jokes here. And my friends, they all crack jokes with me all the time about being in a chair. But um, that's kind of how it started, is I realized that there wasn't really, there are spinal cord groups and plenty of things like that on Facebook, but there wasn't any really anything kind of directed at humor. And uh, I started originally just making memes, picture me in a wheelchair. And uh, I was just sharing them in these groups. And some of them, most people had a pretty good reaction to them. But there were some people that got a little upset about it. And I figured, well, let's just make a page where it's, you know, I state, hey, this is going to be me making wheelchair humor. So people kind of have a precursor to it before they get on there. And, and so what were some of the re like negative reactions to your memes before you started the page? Like what were their thoughts about it with, you know, in terms of not receiving it so easily and well? Um, actually, the strangest one I've ever had, somebody called me an ableist because I made a joke about um, 
not I, when I'm at you know Walmart or something like that. I always have people that are walking to their car in the handicap spot explaining to me. You know, I have a hidden disability. You can't see it. And the joke was, I really don't care. Just leave me alone. But they took it the completely wrong way that I was saying their disability wasn't important, which is not what I meant at all. I was just saying, you know, I don't care where you're parking there. Good for you. <laughs> right. So then but, it, in essence, people were approaching you without you even engaging with them about justifying why they were parked there is that what it was oh yes it, it still happens all the time people you huh. see i have a chair lift and a valet seat so i drive a truck and i have a basically a crane arm that comes around and picks up my chair and puts it in the back of my truck and then my entire driver's seat swivels out of the truck and down and then i'll just hop over into it and that's you know it takes two or three minutes for the whole thing to come out of the truck. And people think that's the perfect time to come explain to me why they're also parked in the handicap spot. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm not really that interested. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> and, and, uh, some of the other negative things were people, um, I've had people tell me that I shouldn't make fun of people in wheelchairs and kind of how you said you didn't really know who I was when you initially approached me, that um, they don't realize that's me and the me. And I've had the same thing with friends who have shared on they say, oh, you should make fun of people like that. And they're like, that guy in the picture is my friend and that's him making fun of himself. So. Right. That's kind of a, I get some strange things sometimes, but like I said, the majority of the reactions are positive. Yeah. So you were only injured like two and a half years ago. And for some people, they would not be where you are. Um, I, it what struck me when we had a conversation before the on-camera interview was you said, well, my life kind of just went back to normal. Like, it kind yeah, of- Yeah, I uh, live a pretty normal life, all things considered. I just bought a house in December. Um, of course, we had to make a few modifications to it, but I'm uh, I'm not allowed to do laundry, but other than that, I help around the house. Uh, I turned one of my wife's white pants blue once, and I've never been allowed to wash things. So. <laughs> it's a whole other disability. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I drive. I work full time as a welder. Um, I take care of my three year old daughter. Uh, I cook. I clean. Um, you know, bathe myself, do everything myself. I don't need any assistance really with much. Maybe getting some things off of the taller shelves, but. <laughs> that's awesome. That That's so great. And I do you feel like humor has influenced your ability to transition into the, a different body more easily? I think it helped me accept my life more. Um, you know, kind of laughing at it and being a little lighthearted about it. It's, I mean, it's pretty serious. I don't know if modern science will catch up before my time is gone, but, you know, things like not being able to run around in the backyard with my daughter or um, even like I was saying, getting things off the top shelf, it's really frustrating, you know, having to use my little grabber thing to try and get a cup off the top shelf or, um, most of the things we have where I can reach them, but you know, every now and then there's that random thing that I need that, and just small things like that. It was very, very frustrating for me at first. And, uh, I think the humor kind of helped me more laugh at my situation than just stay down about it and, you know, keep worrying about what I couldn't do. I love to laugh. I'm one of those people that laughs very easily. So um, I'm not, it, it doesn't take me a lot. So, and I feel like I've used humor in ways to um, connect with people. Uh, and like Les Brown, he says, when you make someone laugh, it shuts down the brain and opens the heart. And I really feel like humor is that connecting um, bridge that helps uh allow allows people to kind of see you as a person 
um, because let's yeah. face it, it can get awkward a little bit <laughs> when you it meet can. someone new. It can, especially in public. And that was one thing when I returned to work, everybody was, uh, I guess timid would be the best word around me. And they were kind of nervous about, you know, just what my reaction to things would be. And I remember uh, every Friday we have a safety meeting and it's usually like the OSHA briefing of the week. And it's can range from anything like how to use ladders properly or, uh, you know, since we're welders, we have to worry about being getting UV burns from the welders or things like that. But um, like with the ladders, and we had one about staying active and trying to have 10,000 steps every day. And I was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to get 10,000 steps. <laughs> <laughs> kind of joking around like that helped people be more comfortable around me and realize that, I mean, there are some people in wheelchairs that, um, they kind of get offended very easily, and I definitely have received some of that with my memes. But um, for me, I've noticed that it helps people kind of lighten up and not, you know, worry, oh, do I need to hold this for you, or do you need me to do this? And uh, It kind of addresses it, the elephant in the room that everyone is thinking about anyway. And, oh, right. And then it just kind of diffuses the tension to be like, oh, okay. He's laughing, so it's okay if I laugh. And sometimes yeah, exactly. it's funny. My husband will sometimes make a joke, and then they'll let, they want to laugh, but then they look at me for, like, permission. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, feel free. I, it is funny. Um, and so, you know, I actually did some research on, like, the science of smiling and laughing. And it says that, um, well, the research shows that um, the mere act of smiling reduces blood pressure, lowers stress hormones, and boosts your mood. So, you know, even though we're talking as two human beings that, yes, humor is something that we've applied to our life, studies show, guys, that this stuff is true. Like humor and laughter um, is actually really good not only for your mental state but for your physical body as well um and so i i actually even if i i would it would be interesting to see if they did some studies on people that were willing to use humor and be more lighthearted about their situation when they became injured versus someone who didn't to see what the yeah. long-term uh transition looked like that would be interesting. Yeah. So given that, um, obviously, science shows smiling and laughing helps, I just want to know um, if you're willing to share, what is some of your favorite hu wheelchair humor that either you've heard or you've created? I have a ton of them. Um, I'd say one of my favorites uh, came up with is... Um, I always have people around me talking about how much their feet hurt or how much they hate their shoes. And I'll just look down and be like, well, you should buy a pair of these. They're so comfortable. I can't even feel them. <laughs> 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 and I've, I've had mixed reviews. Some people don't get it right away. Other people love it, but it's, that's usually a pretty big hit with people. Yeah. Um, when I go to the doctor's office, every time they ask me how tall I am, I tell them four and a half feet. So. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> There's a lot of jokes that people just, no pun intended, walk right into. And I just <laughs> Even that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> right? I know. Even like with the whole coronavirus thing, I wanted to do a meme of me like, like saying no hands winning because it's <laughs> don't have to wear gloves or be worried about that for me. Um, but yeah, like my husband is the best about making jokes. Like when we first started dating, he'd be like, Oh, if someone would ask, Oh, like let's schedule a get together. And he's like, let me check with my palmless pilot. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So some of his humor is pretty raw. I don't know if, people would be ready for it. So maybe I'll hold back on a couple different things. But yeah, no, I just think that 
humor is one of those really important uh, qualities to have in order to move through adversity because honestly there is no way around getting getting away from challenges and hard times in our lives um, even now with our pandemic that we're dealing with um, and you see people doing parodies with songs about the pandemic yeah. or you know it's a good release um, and so uh, is there is there anything else that you want to talk about or tell our audience before we close? I guess the main thing is just remember to laugh because life's not that serious and none of us are getting out of it alive, so. <laughs> right, right, it's, right. Uh, it's easier to laugh than cry, is something that I've said a lot. And uh, there's definitely been moments since I've been injured that it has been so frustrating I've cried, but you know, I could sit here and be depressed about not being able to walk or not being able to do some normal things, but instead of being depressed about it, I've turned it into humor and I laugh about it. And my wife and I both have a similar sense of humor, so we uh, kind of fell into that as it was a way for us to sort of move past and move on, I guess would be the best way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and you bring up a really good point. Happiness is a choice, right? right. You, you, there, there is no denying that we're going to get frustrated and upset about the circumstances we find ourselves in. Um, and it's okay to be there for a hot minute and then, well, sure. and then be like, all right, now what? What do I choose? And you have so brilliantly chosen humor and smiling and laughter as a way to um, deal with the difficulties and challenges of life. So thank you for putting out the Facebook page. I would encourage uh, anybody that is watching this right now to go to the Facebook page called The Positive Wheelchair Guy. Um, some of the stuff is really, is really funny. And I, let me ask you, um, Perrin, is there a way that people can share their memes? Oh uh, yeah, you can post them to my page. And, um, I've had people direct message me links for things they wanted to share. I mean, you're more than welcome to post them on my page. Um, but if not those groups, and I'm sure some of y'all are members of them already just double check that it's okay and that's a great way to get them out there yes yes spread the smiles hashtag sure. spread the smiles right <laughs> yeah. thank you so much and i would like to hear from you the viewer what is your favorite um joke or meme or sense of humor that you've used to cope with any challenges or difficulties you faced in your life we'd love to hear them below in the comments um, I also want to remind you to please subscribe and share. And if you'd like to join our community, you can do that on my private Facebook group called Victoriously Living. If you'd like to see more from One Leg Up Productions, you can support us financially at patreon.com forward slash One Leg Up Productions. Thank you so much. Keep smiling and be blessed. Mm -hmm.